Okay, sorry, uh, I can't show you my face because we just went to church and today is Ash Wednesday. I have like the cross mark on my forehead. So I'm not going to show my face today. So I got this Zumoni bag organizer. How to clean the lock. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, please consider subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to hit the bell so you won't miss any of my future videos. Also, follow me on Instagram. I have the same name as my YouTube channel. So today's video, I'd like to share with you my Louis Vuitton Speedy 30. This was my very first. I know I've said this so many times in my previous videos that this was my very first Louis Vuitton piece back in 2007. I had this for a long time now. It's been 13 years that I had this. So this is in size 30 in Damier Ibin in brown color. So this is the classic Speedy that you can get. You can get this hot stamp with your initial. I had it hot stamp with my initial MM. And this is the classic Speedy. Uh, so it doesn't have the... This is not the bandolier version. This is the classic piece. As you all know, Louis Vuitton Speedy, this is an iconic bag from Louis Vuitton because of Audrey Hepburn. She requested to have... It's the Speedy 25. They made it for Audrey Hepburn. That's why this has been an iconic piece. All the Speedies are an iconic piece, especially the Speedy 25. But mine is Speedy 30. This is so perfect for my lifestyle because I tend to bring the kitchen sink. No, I tend to bring a lot of stuff. But in this bag, so let me show you. This is the front. This is the side. And then on the other side, the other side, it has the, the lock. It comes with two keys as well this is the key it doesn't come with the luggage tag but i put the key in here so yeah so that's that and on the other side it has a tab um that says i mean you can see it so louis vuitton made in france okay and there's a leather tab so what i like about this bag it's in brown color you can wear this any time of the year because you can wear this in rainy season, you can wear this in winter time, summer time, no problem at all, or springtime. So let me open the bag. So I do have a an organizer inside my bag to keep the shape structured shape. Because if you don't have the if you don't have this, if you don't have the this organizer, it's not gonna look like this. It will be like look that so i don't like it i don't like a non-structured bag so since this doesn't have any structure at all so i bought this so i got this zumoni bag organizer which is very useful because this one has multiple pockets and it has a water bottle compartment as well yeah, so i got this one comes with this little pouch by the way i have a coupon code just in case you want to get this organizer when you place your order they ship right away they have a fast shipping what i'm trying to say is that it doesn't come with anything it it's just a big bag inside so there's no compartment aside from this is just the only compartment that you have a there's a pocket right here I know for the new bandolier version, the one with the strap, the bandolier version, the compartment has a zipper, but this one doesn't have one. Okay? So it's just like that. And it also has the D ring right here. And also, you're gonna find the date code. You will find it right on the back of the pocket. You flip it like that and you're gonna see you're gonna see the date code stamp right here. Okay, so now I feel like this is a little bit sticky on the handle. It's probably because 
it's been 13 years but i never wore i never wore this like non-stop because i tend to rotate my bag so i don't need to worry about the wear and tear of the bag my bag has a good rotation period for all of my bags so let's say i use this for a week and then after a week i change it to another bag and i'm gonna use that for the whole week and then so on and so forth so yeah i only use them for the whole week sometimes um if i need to change my bag i change it like once or twice so it depends sometimes it depends on your outfit right but normally i use this i can use this as a work bag because it's good enough space for my essentials for whatever things that i normally bring like my agenda notebook and all that but normally i wear this monday to friday if this is scheduled to to wear if i'm scheduled to wear this or to bring this to work with me so i use this for monday to friday and then on weekends i tend to uh i tend to reach for my um small bags because those are just my going out or date night or whatever like errands or whatever so those are the things for for that purpose but normally i can wear this at work okay so, by the way i have this the the lock if you notice it's a little bit tarnished already but i used to clean this with something so i'm gonna include that in this video how to clean the the lock the brass uh, lock uh, the louis vuitton speedy 30 so i'm gonna include that in this video if you wanna know what what i'm using to clean this this one because i used this before with no problems and everything but it's been a while i haven't cleaned this for a long time so i'm gonna do that after it's done. i'm going to show you how to clean your louis vuitton brass lock and keys you can actually find this in your refrigerator yes and i'm gonna be using a tomato ketchup to clean the brass lock and keys so let me show you how tarnished and old my lock and keys So the things that you will need to clean your Louis Vuitton brass lock and keys are any tomato ketchup and two pieces of the paper towel and of course water to rinse out after we clean this out. The first step we're gonna do is squirt some ketchup on the palm of your hand and grab your lock and keys. Rub the ketchup thoroughly and continue rubbing it for like three minutes and then rinse it very well and voila there you go you have your tarnished old brass louis vuitton lock and keys make sure to dry them completely with the paper towel and then you will see how gorgeous it is it looks brand new again Okay guys, I hope you like this video. I hope you learned something new today. Leave me a comment if you have any questions. So that is it for today's video please give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of my future videos so that is it for today let me know if you have any questions comment down below okay bye guys thank you for watching have a good day bye